Hey everybody, I'm East Coast Pete. Today I'm gonna to look at Doug Sam. He was born in 1941, died in 1999. American singer, songwriter, musician from San Antonio, Texas. He was a child prodigy in country music, but made his mark with roots rock. He is vital to what's become known as Tex-Mex music. He founded the Sir Douglas Quintet in the 60s, and that's rock. He would later co-found the Texas Tornadoes with Augie Myers, Freddie Fender, and Flaco Jimenez. He began his music career playing steel guitar, mandolin, and violin. And at age 11, he played with Hank Williams Sr. at the Skyline Club in Austin. It was Hank Williams' last performance. Sam was offered a permanent spot at the Grand Ole Opry at the age of 13, but his mom wanted him to finish junior high first. He formed his first band, The Knights, in 1957. He would play at mostly black San Antone Blues Clubs. In 1965, he formed the Sir Douglas Quintet with childhood friends Augie Myers. They chose the name to sound British to benefit from the Brit invasion. Sam's Texas accent and two of the five members being Hispanic kind of blew the lid off of that one. They actually shot photos of the band in silhouette for their sleeve art to hide that they were only lowly Americanos. They had a hit, She's About a Mover, and a minor hit with The Rains Came. Mover charted to the top 20 in the UK, and this lineup broke up and Sam revived the name in San Francisco, and the new guys scored with Mendocino. Bob Dylan was a huge fan. In 1973, an album was released under the name Doug Sam and the Band. The band consisted of Bob Dylan, Dr. John, David Bromberg, and Flaco Jimenez. I'm thinking it might be Flaco. So if it is Flaco as opposed to Flaco, I apologize. His solo career ran concurrent with the Sir Douglas Quintet, and he appeared on albums by Bob Dylan, The Grateful Dead, and Willie Nelson. He also helped to spur the resurgence of Roki Erickson of the 13th Floor Elevators. Sam funded Roki's comeback single, Starry Eyes, backed with Two-Headed Dog. In the, nine, in the 80s, Sam toured Europe and the single Meet Me on Meet Me in Stockholm went platinum. In 1989, back in Texas, he formed the Texas Tornadoes and their first album won a Grammy. He was with others, including the Texas Mavericks, the last real Texas blues band, the Amos Quartet, Doug Sam, Gene Taylor Band, Doug Sam and Sons, the mysterious Sam Dog, and the Cosmic Cowboys, and the Cherry Ridge Riders. He had a heart attack and died in his sleep in a motel room in Taos, New Mexico in 99. His son Sean carries on fronting his band into the new century. His other son Shandon played drums for the Meat Puppets from 99 until 2002 and is their current drummer as of 2010. And there is a documentary film, Sir Doug and the Genuine Texas Cosmic Groove. And that went in 2015. 
So yeah, this is not what you call Southern rock, you know. <laughs> is, what he's doing now is blues, but it's got that 96 teardrop organ sound, you know. Makes it different. Makes it Tex-Mex. So, this guy's great. You should check him out. Find out more. I'll see you all next time on my show with no name. <laughs>